Hi everyone, a while back we requested to submit challenge cases. Here we will take a look at those selected cases and their in situ representation in Rocky DEM. Rocky DEM is a leading software in DEM simulation that allows multi GPU processing for problems with millions of particles. Also, it allows real particle shape representation for complex problems. It considers breakage of particle with models that represent real process accurately and is fully integrated with ANSYS software for cases with uh, fluid or structure interactions. Here we have the transfer shoot as the first case. Is uh, Transfer shoot is widely used in mining industries and here the goal is to analyze the process design to avoid material blockage and to increase the equipment durability. Quick materials are simulated as a spherical particles. The feed and receiving conveyors as predefined designs in Rocky are added to the chute. And using the post-processing tools, we can see both instantaneous and accumulated shear power on the walls that help us to define the liner life analysis. And also, uh, we can determine the regions with higher wear and abrasion on the equipment walls. Also, we can check the distribution of the material between two legs, which is something important in uh, such processes. Talking about the distribution of the material between legs, we can check the mass flow rate of particles leaving the chute on the receiving conveyors. In order to optimize this distribution, we can modify the position and speed of the feed conveyor. For example, here we perform optimization analysis on the fit conveyor belt position with the objective selected as the even distribution of the material between legs. As we can see, using Rocky DEM integrated with ANSYS Design Explorer tools, we can easily find the optimum point of the belt position. The same optimization set can also be defined for other parameters like conveyor speed, design geometry modification, and so on. Talking about the material selection, here we have compared two scenarios with dry particles on left and wet particles on right through some adhesive force models. As we can see, Rocky gave us real representation of the material behavior, and this helps us to get deeper insight into the material related properties of the process. For example, running the same analysis for the particle distribution, we can see the material selection has changed the balance, which is important for industry that are dealing with particles that may have some cohesion between the particles. Performing the same liner life analysis, we can see wet material has induced higher mean shear power, which is important in design stage as the closer we are to the real representation through real material behavior, we can have more confidence over the consequences of the design decision. As the second case, we selected mixing analysis. The important parameter in mixing drum is to first decrease the time for the system to reach the stage of complete mixing. This time is important in food and chemical industries, for example, as we want to prevent the uh, product degradation. Using Rocky DM post processing tools, we can convert discrete variables to continuous form of them. So we can able we are able to see the mass fraction and the volume fraction inside the drum. And by taking a sample, we can determine the degree of mixing. And using statistical approaches, we can determine parameters like lazy mixing index to find the time the process has reached the complete mixing. For example, here, as the lazy mixing index is getting closer to one, we have a binary mixture of particles with homogeneous distribution. And this time determines the time that the, uh, that the process has reached the full, complete homogeneous state. To speed up the mixing time under the same load of material, we can increase the rotor speed, for example. However, at the same time, we prefer to have an energy efficient process that can work under the maximum load of particles. 
these are all parameters that can be fit to the software as objective of the optimization sets that will help the process designer to be able to have a clear decision or the operating conditions. I hope you were able to find this presentation helpful. In case you have specific questions or requests, please find us through our direct offices or channel partners. For further detail, please take a look at our website and feel free to contact us. Thanks.